The purpose of 3D Exchange is to allow a user to bring in custom assets. A perfect example of this is the FBX that we just made in Unreal. We can simply just drag and drop the FBX file into the interface and it'll automatically load. Make sure to turn off Import Animation and Adjust Materials on the Options panel. During the import process, you're going to see a message appear. What this message is telling you is that it's detected an Unreal Skeleton. So, all you have to do now is actually press the Yes button and it's going to automatically set up the Unreal character as a non-standard character. The reason it's classified as a non-standard character is because the Unreal Skeleton setup differs from the iClone Skeletal setup. On the right side of the interface, I'm going to continue to click on the gray bars to collapse menus until I get to the Pose menu. Inside the Pose menu is a button called Convert to Non-Standard. Go ahead and click this, and it's going to show you the skeleton of the character. Click on the drop-down menu that says T-Pose and pick any test animation and hit Preview to test your character. I'll select a few different ones to show how the character moves. As you can see, everything seems to be working properly with our character. So after this animation is done playing, I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel to get out of this preview mode and hit Yes. In order to use this character inside of iClone, we need to export it as an iAvatar file. So we're going to go to File, Export. The Export Options window is already showing the proper version of iClone, and it's got the original FBX name. The only thing I want to change on this is setting the destination to Other. This allows me to choose a folder on my hard drive to store the iAvatar file. When you found the location you want to store your character at, go ahead and click OK. And then click OK to export your character. When it's completed, 3D Exchange will tell you it successfully exported your character. Now that that's done, let's move on to iClone and import our new character. Now that we're inside of iClone, let's go to File, Import, import. Now we just need to find our character. So you go to the folder that you saved it in, choose your character and click open. Now to animate him, I'm going to want to see the timeline. So I'm going to go to window timeline, which is also F3. Now we're going to want to make sure that the content tab is open and that we're in the animation section. Here we can pick a motion clip that we like and just drag and drop it onto the character. So going through the folder, I'll find an idle animation first and just drag and drop it onto the character. Now, as soon as I hit play, you'll see the animation plays. Now I'll go back to the first frame so we overwrite this motion clip and drop a new one and hit play again. As you can see, it's very easy to get a character moving inside of iClone. I'll go back to the first frame of the timeline. And now let's choose a different motion. So far, we've done all these action motions. Let's choose a dance motion. Now I'll hit play, and now our character is dancing. Using this method, you will now be able to import Unreal Engine characters anytime you choose.